Oh. Hello, I'm back. Now, it's been about three, four months since I last uploaded. Unfortunately, lockdown, there's not a lot I could do. And I had no other footage I could have done. Um, some people had ideas about vlogs and stuff, but, you know, I played video games, I did my exams, and that was about it until recently, so it's not exactly exciting vlogs to make. So here we are, finally back to it. Um, as you can see, I've got my face cam attached. That didn't work. I am still looking at ways to attaching a face cam to my Enfield, but for the time being, this is the first video. Now, as you can see, the objective here is, is to restore credibility. Um, that's just my own personal objective. I haven't played in a very long time, and uh, that will show at the first half. But when you see the next videos coming out in the next few weeks, it does get better. And uh, I also put point fours into my Enfield rather than the two fives I think I was using, and there is a huge difference. Although I still need to downgrade the spring because yeah, it's just there. teetering on um, being allowed at Rift. And uh, I actually went to the jail recently and it wasn't allowed at all. Anyway, for this week's gameplay video. It's a bad time to know that it hops too much. Uh. Went right into the trees. <laughs> He's a sniper as well. Yeah. Oh, he's gone back into cover. I'm gonna have to get a better shot. There's too many trees. So here I am with a few squad members. We're basically pushing into the Thai Fortress, which is kind of the center of the map at the village. Um, there is an objective in there we need to collect. Basically we need to collect, I believe it was five Amatins, and bring them back to base. Yep. Whoever has the most Amatins in each base wins. Uh, this is not an attack and defend game. Both teams need to have all their Amatates at base, and whoever has the most wins again. Okay, so I can get... Hey! So after that wonderful start, I decided to go back to safe zone, get rid of the camera, and uh, get back out there. <laughs> Jacob, you got about four or five directly to your twelve. So as you can see as well, I'm only actually carrying my lean Enfield. I do actually have a pistol, but I never used it, so I've just left it out there. Unfortunately, my SSP one's still broken. Uh, I don't trust sending it to Europe because unfortunately the mail service is terrible, and I don't think Novridge is fully operational yet. I I'm, could be very wrong in saying that. And my shotgun's not here because the shells are also leaking. Hey, my first kill. The second one should be too hard, right? Right, I've just cleared two guys from the side fort. There's certainly one in the barrel fortress, but if you guys want to push up, I can try and give you covering fire with this matey boy here. I don't know what's in the tie fort, mind you. I didn't look at the map. As you can see, yeah. I'm being very aware of my surroundings, not knowing where the enemy is, not knowing where the Sorry? objective is, and giving covering fire. I can't. Which, in about five seconds, you're going to find out how well that went. So I'm going to move up slightly, just see what I can find. Blues, right side. Sniper far side, another guy moving towards the barrel fort. Just keep an eye on your right side, yeah? Sorry, not, 
not so clear, is it? Well, at least you haven't shot your own team member yet. Yep. I've got one of them. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I got one. Nearly got shot in the face there. Now, upon some feedback on my videos, I've actually yeah, zoomed in the zoom moment. camera. So the footage is a little bit kind of pixely almost, but these guys are on the other end of the tie fort. So you've got the tie fort, you've then got another barricade place, and then it's them. So that's a good 50 to 80 meter shot. I'm going to say more towards the 80 meter shot. Um, I'll zoom out on one of my shots just to show you what I mean in a sec. Can you get some shots down range? Now, me and this guy here, he has a Mosin with a genuine stock and serial numbers and the whole works. Almost the Russian equivalent to my rifle. I have a feeling me and him are going to waste a lot of ammo doing this. I mean equivalent in the sense that he's got a genuine stock, albeit mine isn't. Um, I believe his metalwork is handmade, yet my metalwork is actually genuine. So it was quite interesting seeing someone with kind of the same quality of rifle as I did, something that's custom made, uh, has all the serial numbers where it should be, genuine stock and stuff. It's, it's really, really cool. Never got a chance to shoot it, but it was in its sniper sort of um, variation, so it had like the bent handle rather than the straight up handle. But this is us fighting for, I think, up to 10 minutes. We've had to um, speed this up just because we were there for so long. Eventually he bugged out, which you're about to see now. Oh, so close, come on. Moving to the right, he's moving to the right. You've got the AEG, cover my right. Yeah. Yep, there's two of them there, two of them there. Right in front, right in front. Good, there's another one there. Gun up. Right there, right there. Good kill, good kill. Say again? As I said before, I was shooting quite long ranges. Here is an yeah. out of zoom camera. Well, I like to think I did a pretty good job. I think I got six kills in total. Eventually, after somewhat harassing Crossing. the enemy, I think, maybe, I got six, uh, I eventually I got that. shot out. So yeah, like I said at the start of the video, I've uh, obviously been away for three months. I think everyone has, obviously, with the lockdown. Um, I, will be, I was meant to produce this video on Wednesday, however, I got set back with a few things, so I decided to release it on Friday instead. Um, I will be back to a normal schedule for a Wednesday. Um, I've only got a few videos to make at the moment. I've only been to the village so far, which was a really awesome day. Um, the first today is a bit more mundane, but uh, later on as the day went by, I got a little bit better and better, and I got some really awesome shots off. Um, I also went to the jail, which I've been told is pronounced jail, because uh, G-A-O-L is actually the old spelling in England. Wish I knew that a year ago when I made my first video, which um, I'm actually showing there, actually. Um, but yeah, I went there with a few other friends, um, 
Yeah, I went over a few other friends, got very kindly invited as well by uh, Mr. Chess after it was good seeing him again. He actually lent me his uh, Ronin as well, which is kind of funny actually, because last time I went to jail I borrowed uh, Frank or Tony. He <laughs> lent me his Ronin as well, so it's kind of cool that both times I went and played with the same gun. Love it, by the way. It's just really bloody heavy. Um, I didn't get any footage from the jail because uh, I just kind of wanted to enjoy that day out. Um, there's only about 30 people there. Um, a really awesome sight. Uh, I'd love to go back though, I'm going to have to start getting, looking at getting some face coverings. So I got shot in the lip, which was very, very painful. Um, sadly, couldn't use my lean Enfield. I need to downgrade a spring actually, because it's only just on legal limits for rifts, but everywhere else it's just not the case. So I'll be downgrading that soon. But um, yep, yeah, I am, I suppose, back. Um, I've probably got about maybe four videos I can put out before I need to probably play another day before I can actually get out again, sort of thing. Um, I do have a few review videos I could put up. I haven't got around to making them. Um, just because of setbacks and lockdowns has been quite difficult to be fair because I've had to obviously deal with things like anxiety and stuff like with my job and whatnot, make sure that I can stay afloat sort of thing. Um, and on top of that I've been concentrating on the university, did my exams during lockdown as well which was a bit of a joke to be honest. They allowed it to be open book and this is my degree so um, we could have googled all the answers which I didn't do actually because I wanted to see how much I knew but um, even then it's just easy. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for coming back guys. I will be kind of posting this around Facebook trying to get viewers back in, but for people who just view this um, through notifications, so thank you very much for being there again. Uh, I dare say we'll have to try and kickstart the channel again because it's been so long since I have actually produced any footage, but I will, will be kind of coming back in force. Um, I think I've got some good video ideas coming up soon as well. I've got a friend who before lockdown we were talking about going out to some field uh, on his land and just shooting off the 40 odd guns he had just for a laugh sort of thing. So uh, we've got some interesting footage coming up. Um, I won't be coming to, there was a Rift event, Shift to Rift, that's been uh, kind of changed up. I was actually going to go to that and do some recording but unfortunately um, that's, uh, that hasn't really come to fruition so hopefully next year I'll be doing that. But um, yeah, thank you very much guys for tuning back in. Um, Again, I'll be hopefully getting back to schedule for Wednesday evenings for videos. Um, it looks like work's kind of resu it's slowly resuming, but it's getting there, so hopefully um, I'll be getting out a lot more, um, probably next month, probably the next time I go out, which I'm looking forward to. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. And remember, um, obviously with the pandemic, uh, particularly in the UK, it's all been, lockdown's been lifted, we can all go out again. Um, just stay safe. You know, this pandemic's not, it's not a joke. It's pretty serious, obviously. We've all been locked down. There are countries, I mean, America's, what, 150,000, 60,000, 40,000 deaths, something along those lines. It's, you know, just stay safe, wear masks, and keep your distance as well. Um, perfectly doable on the field, just stay with your cars. Um, particularly in the village, you actually segregated all the safe zones, and that was no issue as well. Wear, have sanitizer with you, hand sanitizer. Just stay safe, guys, when you're playing. But, um, yeah, I will see you all next time.